Hey guys, welcome back to Next Gen VR. Oh my god, Pimax has announced a brand new headset called the Pimax Crystal QLED. And it supports both PC VR and standalone and sets a new standard in image quality. So in this video, I will go I will provide you guys a summary of everything you need to know about this headset and the Pimax Crystal launch event. So let's jump right in. All right, so the Pimax QLED features 42 PPD resolution. In comparison, the Vario Aro has 35 PPD. So already this headset will have the highest resolution of any other headset uh, competitor out there. Next is it has interchangeable lenses from zero to seven diopters, meaning that you can make an individual combination of FOV and sharpness. It also has advanced nano-coated aspheric lenses, which provide better colors, clarity, and image. And you know, in the RO headset, they have aspheric lenses, and it really provides that much clearer and nicer picture quality. So that's very important instead of using Fresnel lenses. Uh, they added an anti-blue light coating to improve uh, eye strain. The FOV is 120 degrees diagonal, however with the interchangeable lenses they also have a 35 PPD lens that offers a larger field of view. So users can choose between 42 PPD or 35 PPD depending on how much field of view they would like. Um, the headset has the same pixel count as the 8KX but much greater pixel density. So we have 5760 by 2880 resolution. The refresh rate goes up to 160 Hertz. It uses QLED and mini LED technology for a color gamut that's 20% better than OLED displays. So that is um, pretty incredible as we know that OLED is already has really good colors. They have added an HDR algorithm. And now let's talk about the uh, PC VR and standalone features. So it features a dual VR switching mode that uses Pimax's custom engine along with a Qualcomm XR2 chip for the standalone part. So we have basically um, the same features as the 12K reality QLED, face plate swapping, lighthouse support, uh, mixed reality cameras for the outside world. However, uh, unlike the 8KX, this headset has four cameras for inside-out tracking support, so you don't need to uh, put base stations unless you want uh, even better tracking. It has integrated Tobii eye tracking for automatic IPD adjustment, which is really useful. And then um, it also has a Wi-Fi 6E receiver, so just like the QLED. But you can also buy a separate WeGig module, which they claim will be the smallest WeGig module in the world and should offer latency free streaming from three to five meters. Uh, next, Pimax is working on their own game store. We've known about this for quite a while, so that is pretty interesting. This will support their uh, standalone headsets uh, library. So they're expected to ship this headset in quarter three of 2022. It includes the headset, two joystick controllers, deluxe speakers, 6,000 milliamp battery, display port cable, and the option of the wider FOV 35 PPD lens. So all of this totals $1,899. In comparison, the 12K QLED is $2,400. So it is quite a bit cheaper and you do get a lot of good features. Now, previous Pimax owners can get a discount package up to $200 in savings. And upon release, Pimax users will get a $100 headset coupon. In addition, there will be a special price set for the 8KX and 5K Super in the first week of June. So at that time, the 8KX will be $899 and the 5K Super will be $399, but it's only for the first week of June. All right, so here are my thoughts on the Pimax Crystal QLED. So this is a really cool value 
proposition headset we have 42 ppd uh, resolution which is like no other vr headset has this combine that with the aspheric lenses and a wider fov than most standard vr headsets and you have a really very immersive experience now the 42 ppd is 120 diagonal whereas the 35 is 140 diagonal which is pretty wide however if you're looking for that full fov that covers your entire vision that is the 12k qled which is 500 dollars more expensive so the crystal headset is not a low price for a thousand nine hundred dollars however it has all of these features that um don't exist in other headsets like interchangeable lenses that's a first for any headset so in my opinion i think this is a really great headset not just for gamers but for business professionals because of that clarity that uh, lens design and everything else so i am very excited about this headset it'll be very interesting to see at the launch date i'm looking forward to reviewing the crystal and the reality 12k qled someday so uh, that's it for my video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for many more videos, and I'll see you guys next time.